Okay, this is probably the weirdest thing that I've ever done. <laughs> but, brief little history. Country Girl Keiko, which I'm not going to butcher the Japanese title. first Eroge that I got on Steam. And like any Eroge, for the most part, they're heavily censored. And you need to go to the company's website to get a restoration patch. Now, unlike a lot of games that oh, I've gotten from Kagura Games... I actually own this in Japan, in Japanese, and on uh, the Steam version. I'd never played the standard censored version that's directly offered on Steam. So, that's what I'm going to do today. And later on, and, and I'll try to explain some of the differences. Because not only is the game censored... But some things are locked or closed off or removed just to uh, accommodate the censored version. So, let's hit it. Okay, just to point everything out, up until now, there's nothing altered. I mean, except for a couple of doors or whatnot in the uh, map that we pass through and get here, nothing's changed. Okay. Now, the public restroom has no door. There'd be a door right here. I'm going to go ahead and start dashing about. Speed it up a little bit. This is a public bathhouse. And, or oh, it doesn't say it right now, but it's completely and totally locked.
and her little sister Yutaka is the same size she is. Which the only time that happens in the regular game, Japanese version or the restored version, is if uh, you get to the very end of the game, there's a special ending where you do one battle against her, she grows to adult si to uh, you know more adult size, and you bat and you have one battle against her. Which unlocks the uh, friggin' uh, recollection room. There's, there's only one real thing altered in the little intro. It's the fact they keep saying university, where it's an all-ages school in the uh, regular game, which is a thing in, uh, like, deep country areas. In uh, Japan, they'll have, like, these small schools that or out in the countryside that have mo like multiple grades all in the same school. And then they'll get on a bus and basically commute to actual high schools and stuff. Like on Tenchi Muyo, if you've ever seen Tenchi Muyo.
Now, if you notice in the classroom, there's a lot of empty seats. That's because there's a bunch of people, a, a bunch of kids that like, are skipping school. And the base... The base storyline that starts this, or your mission, really, is to get all the kids to stop playing hooky. Now, you see the nice big image of the character there's a lot of those a lot more of those in the in, in the full game but them those cutscenes and a lot of other stuff have been completely wiped out of here censored version. This this game is at like 10% of the full game, if not less. Such a much bigger experience in the full game. But I just wanted to give a little taste of <laughs> what this stuff is. And the funny thing is, they actually leave in some of the music cues were not taken out. So you'll hear some of the sexy music or racy or scene music that come up, but the cutscenes are gone. It'll basically give you like, you accomplished a goal, like 
hey, Mike went back to class or something like that. But it'll just fade to black when it does it instead of giving you a scene. Which is weird because uh, they might have changed that for the newest one. Because I know the artist said that Kagura Games had him draw up a whole bunch of extra artwork for the game and for their marketing stuff. The, the sister Yutaka is the main character of the new one and the original games. That's the only guy I'm going to say hello to because everybody else is basically the same in this friggin' weird version. They have better reactions than the full game. right here instead of this ridiculous speech. Now, 
now, my job is to get all the students back, including Utaka, who just ran off because this shit's boring. I don't blame her. Behind the school. None of the alternate endings or anything is in this, just one ending. It's Needless to say, everybody goes back to class because there's a sexy girl in the class. There's so much more that happens up there that doesn't happen in this. sister is uh, causes a lot of tr trouble in town which you'll see but there's no reason to <laughs> Another child, by the way. Bye. <laughs> 
But you go here for the trade off for boxes you see around or just have money in them but in this version there's really no reason to even carry the money Taka causes trouble, there's a scene with them reprimanding the mother, and completely gone here, it's like nobody gives a shit that she broke stuff or anything.
cool thing is that this game, this version, and the full version, go up here and talk to the guy's dad, pays you for getting him out of the house. There's usually a guy over here milking cows, too. This guy usually does something. thing to where you can go in there and talk to people. You can't go in there. There's another student down here. Well, I guess he's already gone. I don't know. Or well, maybe I have to trigger it somehow. are jumping rope but you wouldn't be able to tell because you can't participate there's really no reason to talk to anybody up here except for the students like this one right here wants the brass knuckles Taka's on the other, on the next map. And dude's eating something in the uh, regular game. She bumps into him and knocks his food on the ground. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, the one at post is back this way. down there with the ball. The ball is actually a little further from him in the regular one. And if she walks up, she can kick the ball. And the dude gets pissed off and slaps her boobs. It's pretty funny, but don't do it in this one. doctor's office right here. Doctor's gone.
All right, time to go get the other students. Let's see. There's one right here. It's a kid that's way older looking. They don't even have his face, man. That's messed up. He usually has a little mugshot. Doesn't make sense why they took his mugshot out. Because the guy looks a little older than he is. There's usually something to do there, nothing. Usually something to do there, nothing. Like I said, there's even this, this guy who's usually a kid. There's no reason for him to have been changed. said you try to go here locked and the other one said closed for renovations or some shit yeah the tent is being renovated oh, wait a minute I'll take it Kiri's not there. You'll never see her again. Which is, which is freaking weird.
let's check the classroom. like a babysitting service.
trying to talk to everybody I talked to. Screw that. We'll do this.
now we're back to the beginning. <laughs> ah, so weird. Okay. Now here we are in the main completely open game with the restore restoration patch installed. First title screen you get to. This right here is the original game. This was an expansion that he ought created. The first expansion he created. The second expansion he created, which has a nice little short story where they go on a school trip. This one right here is kind of a, uh, it's uh, an epilogue edition, plus it has, uh, pr uh, it, it has stuff tied to other points of the game, and so on. And some extra little things that they added. But. We're going into the main game. And I'm not doing anything. So. Don't think you're going to see any nudity or anything in this. You're just going to see. The complete map. And you'll see all the different things that you could not do. Or enter into. In the other places. Uh, in the game without the restoration patch, as it were. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is that Yutaka's room is a goddamn mess, which it wasn't before. Which is interesting. That's a weird, weird, interesting change. And there's a teddy bear on the table. Now let's go on outside into the village. And you'll see... Children! Children all over the damn place. Doctor. Some old pervert in a thong there. If you notice, look, there's, there's a kid in that house now. It's not a big adult saying, who the hell are you? You know. Lots of kids. notice it, but oh, I, when you start the regular game, there's a dude standing over here. Like, it might even be a couple of guys. Going up here, look, all kinds of stuff. See, there's a guy up there that wasn't there before. Now, once you beat the game in the full, complete deal, this guy right here shows up, and there's actually even more maps. There's a little uh, amusement area and all kinds of cool shit. Go up in here. There's kids sitting there now. Look, there's a kid walking around over here. There wasn't even a person there for that character before. Now see, you can go into the bathroom. So look, there's a freaking door for the bathroom. There was no door in the bathroom in the regular. There's a tent there, and inside the tent, there's a fortune teller to help you on get little hints. You can go into the bathhouse.
and you can got the policeman here and I believe it's a guy they arrested he's not there in the regular one and as I said you can walk in this guy's house All kinds of neat stuff they completely left out. There's a guy standing here. The, the guy who milks his cows. All kinds of different stuff here. Look. You can go inside here. A doctor and a masseuse in there. up here. There was nobody in this tent. Now there's somebody in the tent. See the kids jumping rope instead of two grown men jumping around like jackasses? There's a guy standing there now. Wasn't there before. The biggest change on this map is the fact that they took out an entire little cave thing. Is that guy right there? Two caves. It's a little cult. This is the re recollection room. We got this. There's a fairy. Of course, the fairy is a hidden thing. You have to unlock that. As you can see, all kinds of changes. More people walking around. More things to do. You can take a look around the school. See all the kids. Look at this little deal there for presentations. Wasn't there before. As I said, there's all kinds of damn kids back here now. There's only one kid there before. And that was a grown up looking dude. There's a restroom over here that you couldn't find that you couldn't go into before. There wasn't a door there. There's the other door. There's a medical room that I told you about. There's that storage room. So you go up in here. See, there's all the students. Notice there's only one like, student my size. I said lots of kids. And those are all the differences I can actually show you. After all, this is on uh, this YouTube, man. We're not going to be on. Um, we're, we're not exactly Pornhub, you know. But if you enjoy these kind of things and want to check them out, uh, check out Cogra Games on their website, uh, DL site, or on, on Steam. They're available on Steam, on uh, Cogra Games Steam uh, shop. So check them out and catch y'all later.